London was brought to a near standstill on Thursday as tube drivers from four major transport unions chose to walk out over planned changes to working hours. They claim new rosters are being forced through, meaning drivers would have to work an unlimited number of weekend and night shifts for no extra pay. Well, with a population of 8.6 million in London, I just think it's very selfish of them to go on, on strike. They're not really considering everybody that they're going to be impacting by doing this. It doesn't affect me too much, it just means the buses are overcrowded, but for once I actually agree with the strike because this one isn't over money. I haven't been too much of it, but this is a route. Um, uh, isn't it about operation times and people just being told that you're going to be working at 2 a.m. don't really question about it. So for once I actually agree with the tube strikes, but they should have automated it years ago anyway. Transport for London, the government organisation responsible for most aspects of the capital's transport system, put on around 200 extra buses during the strike, which is due to end on Friday morning. Our correspondent in London sent this report. The breakdown in negotiations between the four trade unions and the management of the London Underground has led to this huge strike, which has completely disrupted travel plans for Londoners. The weight of the strike lies on the shoulders of the daily transport users.